Good morning, Alexis here, and I am coming to you fresh from my workout. It's a good thing this is not smell vision <laughs> because I am up early, early, even on a weekend to get my workout in. And so here's my question for you. Does the early bird really get the worm? So um, I don't know about worms, but I do know there are a ton of benefits to getting up and getting your workout in first thing in the morning and, and getting your day started right. And um, you know, if you don't know me, um, my page here is Alexis Cochiever Health and Fitness RX Health and Fitness because it's my passion um, and RX because I'm also a family practice um, PA and I work with a lot with families to help them you know, get healthy and stay healthy. And I also have you know, a lot of challengers and clients in my online fitness groups um, who are always working on sticking with their healthy journey and their healthy lifestyle. And one of the biggest um, questions I get and issues I see is how do you commit and, and stick to getting up early every day and how do you battle that alarm clock um, and I do you know have to say that um, for my challengers personally the ones I see succeeding the most and most frequently getting their workout in and sticking to their plan <clears throat> are the ones who do it early in the morning so I just wanted to share <clears throat> besides just getting it out of the way what are some of the benefits to working out early in the morning um, and then all next week, I'm going to share some tips to help you become a morning person if that's something you're looking for. Let me just um, preface this by saying there are tons of benefits to working out morning, to working out midday, to working out night. And really the best time to work out in general is the time that you will get it done most consistently. But for me and for a lot of the people I work with, um, mornings tend to be the easiest and the best because you know, for a number of reasons. So I'm going to share a few with you today. So um, number one, my favorite reason is it's my happy pill. Oh my gosh. Exercise is shown in study after study to help reduce stress. Um, by getting up and exercising first thing in the day, we release kind of happy chemicals in our brain, things like serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine. And those are our kind of these, um, you know, hormones and neurotransmitters in our brain that just help elevate our mood, they help reduce stress and anxiety, um, and you know, keep us from strangling somebody in, in, during the day at work. Um, or you know, for me personally, it helps me to be more patient with my kids and my husband. So um, I refer to exercise as my happy pill, it's my me time, it's my time to kind of um, de-stress and um, you know, get ready for my day. So number one, it reduces stress and anxiety. Number two, um, it actually can help increase your metabolism all throughout the day. Some of my favorite workouts are these high intensity interval workouts and those have been shown um, that even once you finish your workout, you go on burning calories for up to hours, um, sometimes up to 24 hours depending on how really hard you worked. And so, gosh, why not use that kind of increased energy and metabolism of burning calories while we're awake and all throughout the day rather than when we're sleeping at night. So um, another great reason to get up and get your workout done first thing. Um, number three would be it, incre it increases our focus and our productivity. I can't tell you how many people tell me that there's just no time to work out. So, you know, they, can't, they don't have time. They got to get to work. They have so much to do. But actually, um, tons of studies show that exercise actually makes us more focused and more productive throughout the day. Studies in kids and adults with ADD and ADHD show that just like 10 minutes of activity in the morning before your school, before work, you know, any activity makes you more um, focused, less fidgety in class, more um, prepared to learn. And actually, um, I work a lot with kids with ADD and ADHD in my, in my practice, and that is one of the biggest things I suggest to their families is get them moving first thing in the morning. It doesn't matter what it is. Turn on some music, let them have a 10 minute dance party, my daughter's trying to call me. Um, you know, let them, you know, get outside and be active for like 10 minutes before the school day. And same goes for adults. It just helps us be more focused and more productive. So really that whole is, uh, is you know, doesn't really ma matter anymore, right? And lastly, in my world especially, there are fewer conflicts when you get up in the morning. I work out at about 4.30, 4.45 every morning because I can almost guarantee that my kids aren't going to need me. My dog's not going to need to go outside and go for a walk. My husband's not going to have any questions or things he wants to talk about. There are just fewer conflicts. I mean, how many times do you say, I'm going to work out after work, and either you get to have a last-minute meeting scheduled at the end of the day, or you get home and you just feel exhausted, or you have to suddenly drive soccer carpool. You know, at 
five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning when everybody else is sleeping, those things just aren't gonna happen. So, you know, it's more often than not that you're gonna get your workout in if you commit to it first thing in the morning. So, waking up early is not the easiest thing in the world to do. And all next week, I'm gonna help share, I'm gonna share with you some tips on how you can become a morning person. Um, and uh, I guarantee I do not jump out of bed tons of energy, that kind of thing. This energy is coming from my workout, um, and uh, I definitely wake up feeling groggy and tired and have to battle the snooze button myself, but I've made it a habit, and it's just become part of my lifestyle, and it's definitely paid off. So I'm going to share all next week with you some tips on how to make yourself a morning person. I hope those tips helped you, and um, gosh, did you get your workout in yet today? If not, go get it. Just go for a nice walk, get outside, do anything, get moving this morning before your busy day starts. And early Happy Mother's Day to all you awesome moms out there. I hope you're, you know, getting some good information from my page and from my blog and, you know, realizing that taking care of you and prioritizing yourself first is only going to make you so much better being a mom and a wife and, you know, everything in life. So have a great day.